Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another episode of Kitchen Therapy with Candy Lou. It is Friday night and as you guys know, I am a chick flick, chick flick fanatic. Not only am I a chick flick fanatic, lately I've proven to be a cauliflower addict. So kind of obsessed with the two, so I wanna have a little bit of fun with this particular recipe that I'm gonna show you guys today. This recipe is courtesy of my younger sister, Erica. Erica is a gluten freer, strange things happen when she eats gluten so she told me about the cauliflower pizza along with a bunch of other things you can do with cauliflower a while ago and so i'm excited to try it today the only thing is this okay i make shifting so one of the things that this recipe requires is parchment paper so if you guys decide to do this recipe please get parchment paper or you will be like me and you will have to run out and grab some sort of spray across the street while it's raining crazy cats and dogs and you don't know if it's really gonna work so really we don't know what's gonna happen with this cauliflower pizza that we're gonna make today but we do know we're gonna make it so um hi erica thank you for the recipe hi sharon thank you for tuning in and i miss you as well melissa hey girl odie but goodie you're the odie but goodie okay so here we go this cannot take very long because i truly want to sit down and watch a chick flick there's a couple that I DVR this week and I want to go back and watch it. One of them is Bridesmaids, one of my favorite movies of all times. It's super funny. So let's see here. So we have this cauliflower pizza crust. Now, I don't know if this is legal or not, but I'm borrowing somebody else's recipe. Pretty much every recipe that I use is going to be something that I've like modified, make my own or something that's been passed down to my family or something that I've seen online. So this one is, um, I'm borrowing this recipe courtesy of um the pioneer woman i love her she's just so down to earth you can catch all of her shows on food network and um she also has a whole um kitchen um collection at walmart so pioneer woman so anyway i'm using her recipe so let's get started so first things first is you need cauliflower to make cauliflower pizza hey stacy what's up cousin edward how are you doing so i grabbed the cauliflower rice i Really, I grabbed two types. I got the, flour, the cauliflower rice, which is a cauliflower that's already kind of like ground up because you can do so much with this stuff. Um, then I also grabbed the regular florets. So we're going to play with both of them and see what happens. Um, they say it's not supposed to take very long, so we will see. I'm going to try to plow right through it. First things first, get yourself a little, if you don't have one, which I didn't have one, a lot of my stuff is really in uh, back in Arizona. Um, I used to laugh at people would say that. Like, you know, I got my stuff and they name like another state. But it's so true. Um, so anyway, I picked this up last night at the grocery store. It's really tiny. I didn't think it was going to be so small. But hopefully it does a trick. So let's start with this first. Let's go ahead and open up this uh, rice cauliflower. This is a non-GMO. Isn't it crazy these days that they have to uh, preface that with GMO or not GMO? So let's just put this in here. It's already ground up, but I want to get it a little bit smaller. So just drop it in this food processor. This is called actually a food chopper. Um, so just let's stick it in there. Uh oh, what's going on? Uh oh, there we go. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Why are you sad? Who put the sad face? Why are you sad? So there we go. We're just gonna. Break it. No. I'm excited to see what this turns out like because I truly love pizza, but I really want to eat better. You know, I love eating um, I love eating fun food, you know, but at the end of the day, I want to I want to live a long life, but I want to have energy to do the things that I'm made to do. So we got to sometimes make sacrifices and do things that are even out of our comfort zone, such as eating pizza without dough. This is what it looks like. It's going to have like a fine texture to it now remember if you don't use let me get a spoon if you don't use the cauliflower that is already broken up it's going to take a while it's going to take a while for it you know a little bit longer than it did just now to grind it up sharon what'd you say you said uh we have to check for non-gmo yeah we have to totally check for whether our food is non-gmo or not like um, that genetically modified stuff can really do our body some damage and oh, you know what? I want to measure it first. We should have about two and a half cups of this cauliflower when it's all said and done. Um, it can mess with your body and the food nowadays is designed to, I, you know, I don't want to really go there, but I really think that there's like agendas 
behind a lot of what's going on with our with the food that we're eating and I don't like it one bit because I like food way too much and it seems like nowadays everything is a hassle and nothing's really safe to eat is this okay is this in here okay so let's put this in here I should probably have done this part before I got on uh oh let's see here this thing is giving me the blues oh oh Oh, <laughs> can you tell that I have not used this thing before? You get what you pay for. Uh-oh. We'll be back after a brief commercial break. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's see what's going on here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it will, it can, it will kill you. It's designed to kill you. And, you know... We just have to really do better. There's a um, a friend of mine. She has her own fish farm. She has her own garden. She does everything because she knows that the food is really, essentially, it's pretty dangerous. Y'all, I am tripping. Okay, the blade is not in there. No wonder. Here's the blade right here. I'm like, why isn't it chopping up? Okay, let's try this again. There we go, guys. Oh, okay, so what are you doing tonight? What's your plans for tonight? Any chick flicks? What do we have going on? I told you I'm watching Bridesmaids, and then after that, I'm going to watch, um, what's the other one that I have on there? Oh, I have Bride Wars. That's the sound it's supposed to make right there. That's what it's supposed to do. That's it right there. So if you don't know of any chick flicks, just ask me. I'll tell you. I love You've Got Mail. Another really good one is, you like how I swung my hair out of my face? <laughs> um, another really good one is, oh, what is it? Oh, My Best Friend's Wedding, Salsa Dancing with, oh, you're going Salsa Dancing. That sounds so fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. See, there are some people that are just gifted with dancing, and you are one of them. Yeah, you need a little nap to get that energy up for that. Okay, so what we're doing, guys, if you're just tuning in, we are making a cauliflower pizza. For those of you guys who have any sort of gluten sensitivity, if you suffer from diabetes, if you have any sort of, um, you're trying to watch your cholesterol, whatever the case might be, this is a really good alternative because we're cutting out the flour. We're not going to use any flour in this. We're not going to use... We're gonna minim use minimum salt. I'm trying to cut down on the salt that I use. I've realized lately, I've been eating a lot more meat than I normally do. And so with meat, I've been really, I've had a tendency to over season things. And I don't like the fact that I'm consuming that much sodium. So, you know what, when you don't like something, what do you do, you make a change. You gotta make a change for once in your life. It's gonna feel real good. It's gonna make a difference in how you feel. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, my song for you. You gotta make a change. Anybody else Michael Jackson fans? I loved Michael Jackson. Good old MJ. Okay, this part's taking way too long. Okay. There we go. We're almost done. I promise you. And we're going to get into rolling the dough. Oh, you like that? It's going, we're going to make a change. That's my Michael Jackson move. See, you can't encourage me, Mr. Kelly. You just can't do that. Because I'm the middle child in my family. And so I like to run with things. If anybody laughs at a joke, Erica, if you're still there, vouch for me. If anybody laughs at a joke, I'm going to tell it like one more time. And then I might tell it a third time. And then... I'll try to find a way to like drag it out and make it even funnier. It's um, it's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous. So yeah, that's me. Is this enough? You think? I mean, I'll do one more. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try this, the big cauliflower chunks, and I'm gonna see what happens. Remember, right now I'm using this rice. You guys, you can get cauliflower rice. Hello, where it's already like the work's been already done for you. When this first became a thing, 
where people were, you know, this looks a little, not as white. Maybe it has GMO. It looks a little tan. I'll just use a little bit. I don't like this tan. The other was so white. And Erica, you know, you're the same way though. You know, if there's a joke, you like to, you like a good laugh. Now, you like to like tear stuff up, you know, when they get it. Okay, Leslie, Leslie, Leslie. Oh yeah. Okay, this is actually really easy, guys. Listen. I can't tell you how good it is yet because I've never had a cauliflower pizza. And to be quite honest, I was quite, I was never really that enthused or curious. But now I am. You know what? Maybe I should pay attention. They said, you should have about two and a half cups. Okay, I need a little bit more. I'm going to use this brown cauliflower. Different grower. It's all, okay, okay. Thank you. I needed the, I needed the motivation and the encouragement. I wasn't going to use it. See, the whole thing, Mr. Kelly, is this. We were looking at the different packages, and one of them said non-GMO, and the other didn't mention anything about GMO. The white said non-GMO. The beige cauliflower doesn't mention it, so I'm thinking it's GMO. It's a, it's a G, this is a GMO uh, beige. Oops. There we go. All right. There we go. So let's go ahead and get this. We're making this awesome cauliflower pizza so I can watch my movie. If I can just screw this thing on here. You got it, Candace. You can do this. There we go. You got to like... Oh, no, no. It's already soft, Erica. It's, it's been sitting out. It's thawed. I didn't use... Um, yeah, it's really soft. Well, should I make it softer? Okay, I will. Oh, I learned a really crazy fact the other day. So you guys know, I don't know, maybe you know, maybe you don't know. But um, I'm pregnant. No, I'm just kidding. No, maybe you know, maybe you don't know. But um, I love seafood. And one of the things that I found out recently was that because of the pollution in the ocean, like such as plastic, I love shellfish too, which you probably shouldn't eat, but the shellfish, it's like they're, they're getting the plastic particles in their body. So every time we consume shellfish, chances are we're eating plastic and that's not okay. So I'm kind of sad about that because I love seafood and I don't really want to eat plastic. But it's looking like that's what's gonna happen. Okay. Okay, so I'll put it in the microwave. Oh, thank you. You think I'm funny? Is this kind of, is there a lag? Please tell me if there's a lag. Do you guys see a lag? Is the, my voice following the movement of my mouth? It's my voice. I'm just joking with you. No, but is it really? The worst you have to do is kill. Yes. Okay, there we go. About two and a half cups right here. I'm going to go ahead and put this food processor away. Put it to the side because I don't need it. Any mo, I've been delivered. <laughs> no lag. Okay, perfect. Yeah, the last video that I last week, the last video that I did, um, it was straight up like doing this whole like lagging thing. So, yeah. Do you still skate, Sharon? Do you still skate? Okay, so let's go ahead. And put this in this. I got a bunch of. You should use a dish towel, but honestly, um, truth is, I had to do a load, and I only have two good dish towels, so I'm going to have to use, use clean washcloths. So let's see what this looks like. They say a bunch of water should drain out. Oh, yeah, this is it. you got to squeeze. The key is this, you guys. So once you get your cauliflower all pureed and ground up, you want to squeeze the water out. If you don't squeeze the water out, it's not going to hold. You're going to have... Just crumbles, I suppose. I don't know, Erica, what happens? Who's ever had cauliflower pizza? Now, you're going to probably have to do this multiple times because I feel like there's a ton of water. This should be like food for thought right here. We need to consume more. Do you see how much water was in that? The more vegetables we eat, the more hydrated we'll stay. I never really, you know, you don't imagine there's that much water 
in our vegetables. So if you don't like drinking water, how many vegetables have you? What's your serving size of vegetables looking like? I know I need to up mine. The crazy thing is I actually love vegetables. I love them. I just need to eat more. Oh, it becomes pasty. Cauliflower hmm. Okay, there we go. I'm just like using multiple. <laughs> just had Erica, what are you laughing at? Moist pizza? Okay. There we go. So I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to keep ringing it because I, I want to. There. This is actually kind of fun. This is therapeutic. If you're angry, this is like a stress ball. One big fat stress ball right here. You can just squeeze out all your stresses in life. Just get rid of them. Squeeze them away. Remember stress balls back in the day? Did that actually work or was it just like a great little, was it just like a gimmick to get people to buy something? Because I don't know that if I squeeze things, it really stress for me. When I have stress, you know what I do? I cry. <laughs> no, um, I like to write. What do you guys do when you have stress? I like to write my thoughts out. <clears throat> That's a big one. Huge for me. So I don't need stress balls. I just need a pen and paper. I like to pray. Sing. Call my sisters. Oh, yeah. Just great marketing. I agree with you, Mr. Kelly. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm determined. I'm determined to do better with my food choices because really what we put in comes out and the old adage is true we are what we eat so um, I'm gonna start eating more vegetables I was doing it for a while and then I just got kind of like busy and start eating out all the time and then you know you know how it goes you get a little lax you get lax with your habits so I encourage you to join me and uh, Eat some more vegetables. Let's see here. Skate, dance, read, pray. You you do everything. You are not stressed at all because that's a lot of good stuff right there. How can you be stressed when you're skating? Well, okay, I could be stressed when I'm skating. <laughs> I used to skate. I that's where we met skating, and that wasn't my thing. I just did it because it was recreational, social, whatever. But I was not really good at it. It was very stressful for me because I was like, you know, trying to focus on staying up and staying on beat, and I don't really have that sort of swag anyway. So it was a lot of pressure to perform. <laughs> I was stressed. But I can see how you're good. So I'm sure it's just like you're in a whole other world when you're skating. Um, reading, yes. Praying, yes. There's nothing like praying um, that releases stress. Somebody had actually did a study on somebody when they're praying. And it actually showed their brain um, functioning in a different way, in a more productive way. Like certain parts were like, were like lighting up during times of prayer. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Oh, thank you for sharing my video. Whoever just shared it. Hi, Mandy. Stacy. Yes, so you like to work out. That would stress me out. Actually, no. I, I've done that too. Um, not often, but what I've done, look at all this water. I want to show you guys all this water that was in here. All in the cauliflower. If you want to stay hydrated, eat some vegetables. Just kidding. Okay. So there, that's done. Yeah, I remember before like going for like little jogs, you know what I'm saying, to get myself, um, you know, de-stressed. For those of you guys who just tuned in, what we're doing is we're making a cauliflower pizza so I can enjoy my uh, chick flick night tonight because I have some plans. I got some plans to watch. What's my movie? What did I say it was? Bridesmaids and uh, Bride Wars. I'm in this whole bride mood. But no, I love chicks with movies. There's nothing like them in the world. So we're making this pizza right here. You guys, it's going to be hopefully incredible. And I'm going to do all veggie toppings. What? Okay, so here we go. So what I did was I put it in the food processor, and we got it nice and pureed. I feel like if you have to squeeze it out, because they say if you don't squeeze it out, it's not going to stick. It'll be pasty. We don't want pasty, so I'm doing one last squeeze. Use as many dish towels or cloths, clean cloths, that have been washed just to squeeze out any excess water because it will, the reviews are really bad online when there's water left in it. Um, what do you guys usually top your pizzas with? And do you guys usually make, oh look at all that love, 
up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I think I was... Listen, there's still more water in here. Erica, is this enough? Am I overdoing it? Or can you never get it too... Is there no such thing as getting it too dry? Okay, we're about to move on with this. This I'm taking way too long. Okay, the other thing that I should have that I do not have on deck is this. I should have parchment paper, but I don't. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this back in here because we've got to combine this with some other ingredients. We need to put one egg. So I'm going to get an egg. I'm going to put that egg right there. Mm -hmm. Heat it up a little bit. Eric, can you feel free to chime in? Am I doing this? So one egg, let's see here, um, throw it in here, I guess. So you guys put veggies, olive oil, ooh, cauliflower, mm -hmm. spinach, I love, I have spinach, I have onions. Okay, I have all this, I thought this, I'm cheating, okay, I could probably chop it up myself, but I didn't want to, I just grabbed this. So, sometimes you gotta cheat. They say cheaters never win, but I don't agree, because that's cheating and I'm winning. Okay, so let's see what Miss Pioneer Woman has to say about this right here. Um, let's see, so we have to get some salt. How much salt do we need? We need to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm not gonna measure. I'm just gonna put what I think needs to go in here. We're just gonna give a few little There we go, I think that's about, a, that's enough. I'm trying, to cut, okay, I'm trying to cut down on sodium. I don't want no high blood pressure. So we got to, you know, preventive before it even happens, right? Okay. So then we also, this is how my mother and my father read because they have, you know, glasses. And when they look at something at first glance, do you guys do that? Okay. So what else do we need? Do I have to mix all this together right now? Oh, yeah, I do. I need to mix some cheese. I can put cheese in the dough. This is cool. Okay, so I get to mix in, a ch uh, how much cheese do we need to put in there? A cup of cheese, one cup of mozzarella cheese. So this cheese is acting as a binding ingredient, I'm assuming, because there's no, there's no gluten. You know, gluten is the binding agent for, you know, breads and everything which makes it wonderful. This has no gluten in it, so what do we need to bind it? The cheese, the cheese is gonna be sticky, it's gonna be a sticky agent, and it's gonna make it stick together, hopefully. In my case, because um, I've never done this before. So, I'm guessing, here. Okay, so we have the eggs, the salt, the cheese. Okay, I'm gonna put some Italian seasoning in there. You know when people try to be fancy and they say things like, not Italian, but they say Italian. <laughs> I gotta put some Italian seasonings in here. Ooh, you hear that pop? That's because it was, smell it. Ooh, that smells so good. Can you smell it? Let me know if you can smell it. That smells so good. All right, so we're just dumping in, cheese and eggs are binders. Okay, see, yes they are. They keep it all together. You need a binder. I'm gonna put a little, I don't like garlic, but I feel like it just makes sense. You have to have a little garlic in here, garlic powder. Isn't that like Italian? That's the Italian way to do it. Thank you for all the laughs. Like, thank you. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so now we get to do the fun part. We get to mix it up. They say, don't be afraid to use your hands. Now, I'm going to show you what this looks like in like 2.2 seconds. I'm just mixing it. And now I'm going to use my hands. As soon as I get it all incorporated... I may add a few more of these oregano flakes. Erica, say oregano for me. Gouda cheese, oh, how is Gouda cheese? You know, it's one of those things that I always hear about and I may have eaten by happenstance, but never intentionally. I've never gone and bought any Gouda cheese before. What does it taste like? What's the flavor profile? See, the cool thing about this is that, about cooking, is you don't have to know everything to cook. Uh-oh, is it doing the delay thing? 
You do it again. It delayed. You guys, tell me. Hello? Testing, testing. One, two, three. It's delayed. Hello? Okay. So. There we go. I'm going to actually rinse this off because they're simple. They say this is going to stick if you do not use parchment paper. Well, I'm praying that it does not stick because I'm not using parchment paper. I'm not using it. I'm going to use some spray, though. That is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to pray that this spray works. Pray for my spray. That's why it's going to work because it rhymes. Anything that rhymes works. It's just, it's just the way it is. It's the law. The law of rhyming. Spray it good. You know what I'm saying? Just spray it. Okay. Alright, it feels a little wet still. I'm scared. Feels a little wet, but what do you say? You know, what do you do? You just roll with it. Now look, here's the thing. You can't expect perfection. What you can do is this though. Do your best. <laughs> and I'm doing my best. <clears throat> that stuff is no joke. Now look, you want to shape, use one hand to shape it. If you want it round, and you want another hand to press it out. But I think I want mine. I think I want mine square. Because I want to do it like a, a palom, you know? In Italy, they have something called paloms. And they're nice square. Or is it wrong? There's some place. It's a nice square pizza. And that's what I'm going to make right here. So I'm just going to shape it with my hand. You guys, this is therapeutic right here. Oh, yeah. This is good. Now, remember, the thicker you make it, the more crust-like it is, I guess. You know, like a you know, deep dish. Oh, this hair. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so good. You smell that? Look at this. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there we go. So then what they say is we're supposed to pop it up in that oven for a minute. Have you guys called the people that you love today and told them how much you love them? Huh? Have you? Have you called? Dinner is better? You think with, with cauliflower it's still better? Have you guys called anybody today and told them that you love them or that you're thankful for them, that you appreciate them? I have. And I'm going to do, I'm going to think of some more people and I'm going to do it. It's so important that we do that. You know, watching these romantic comedies and, you know, it's about love. Let's create love in our own worlds. Create the love, the magic. Love is magical. You know that? Because it changes things. Magic, things change, right? Right in front of your eyes. You know, things appear, things happen, things disappear. Love is like that. Love is magical. It makes, you know, hate disappear. It makes, um, shoot, it makes all kinds of offenses disappear. It makes negative feelings disappear. It makes joy up here, you know. So uh, make sure to share some love today with somebody. Think outside of their box. Think, so, think outside of yourself. So if you haven't heard it today, I want you to know that I love you. You count. Your life matters. You're here for a purpose. And um, there's still some hours left in the day today. So make the most of it. How I'm putting my all into this cauliflower cake, I mean pie, whatever the heck this thing is called, pizza, I want you to put your all into whatever you're doing right now and go love something, love somebody, love yourself, okay? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna stick this in the oven. Yeah. How you go? Actually, I just came back because I wanted to swing my hair. You know, I haven't had long hair for a long time, so that's really why I came back. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna stick this in here. They say for, I don't know really for how long, but they're probably going to make me stick it in there forever. I won't keep you guys on here. I'll just come back. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you what it looks like. That's it right there, guys. Look at that little cheap pan. That's what a $2 pan looks like. Yep, it doesn't sit flat. But you know what, though? It's going to work. It's going to work today. All right, well, what I will do is I'm gonna let that cook and then I'm gonna log back on and I'm gonna let you guys see part two, 
All right, so thank you so much for watching the first half of Kitchen Therapy with Candy Lou as we make our cauliflower pizza for my night of ravishing chick flicks. So I will see you guys in about, how long does this say I should keep this in here? Oh, about 15 minutes. I'll see you in about 15 minutes. Holler at your girl. Mwah.